Hello, how are you all? I hope you're well. I just thought I'd come on here and just share everything um, from the weekend. It seriously was a crazy, crazy weekend, um, but full of so much good information. And um, I've been just trying to think of a way how I can share what I learned with all of you. And I thought maybe I'll do some individual posts or all these kinds of things, but I thought it'd be best just for me to speak it out loud. That's probably the quickest and most efficient way and it's a lot more organic. So I hope you're all well. Who's watching? Say hello, tell me what you've been up to. And if you did go to Salon Growth Con, say hello. Hey, Nicole, I hope you're well. I'm in Brisbane still, so I've been away for eight days so far. Yeah, I've been away for eight days, so I was so, um, it's been so busy. Um, first I did a True Brow um, Master, a True Brow, <laughs> oh my God, I can't even talk, um, a True Brow Master um, Masterclass, which was amazing. And then I went to Salon Growth Con, and now I've just completed three days of skin education with Derm Vigils and doing a bit of skin needling. Oh, good. Nicole says she can't wait to hear all the news. Awesome. 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 Seriously, my mind is like explosions. I've learned so much. And um, since being away for this long, my body has really just like uh, shut down. Immunity's just gone to crap and my digestion's not good. As you can tell, I've got a cold sore. <laughs> my skin is breaking out, but it's all good. I'm here and I'm going to share with you what I learned. So oh man if you guys just don't want to say this right now um if you do if you are kind of on the fence about going to salon growth con next year i 100 percent recommend it um it it was sensational I, especially if you own a business you know it's not really about sharing information on the latest skincare um, technologies and all of that it's not about that at all it's about business growth and how you can essentially reach more people with your business. So I'd probably say it's best for business owners, but it would not hurt if you were a beauty therapist because essentially if you want to, you know, and it's totally fine if you want to be an employee, of course, but if you want to eventually have a business, then yes, yeah, start educating yourself early. It's, it's only going to help you. So it was amazing. If you're lucky, Billy Rickman might be doing um, the tickets a little bit cheap at the moment. Um, I think he had a special going. So go jump onto the Salon Growth Con website. I think it was 40% off. I hope it's still there. Um, but yeah, it's for next year. You can buy tickets early at a discounted rate. It's going to be in Sydney. So yeah, that would be awesome. Anyhow, I'm just going to get straight into it and I don't have any particular order in what I'm going to share, but what I will do is actually share below. Hey Jen, how are you? Um, it's good to meet you today. Um, so a little, what I will do at the end of this broadcast, I will um, pop in the comments all the speakers um, and anyone that I mention. Um, so you can kind of just go check them out because um, they're all amazing. They all deserve recognition and um they all offer free content um, and you can just continue to learn from them. And really that's just gonna make you an amazing, amazing beauty therapist. So, and a business owner, of course. <laughs> cool, so I'll, I'll just try and remember um, all the speakers in chronological order. And the first person I had the pleasure to listen to was the lovely Angela Sanchez. If you haven't heard of her, you definitely need to go check her out. She runs the business called Beauty Business Co. Hello, Amy. It's nice to have you on here. Um, yeah, so she she runs Beauty Business Co. So it's basically, <laughs> um, it's a business um, where she offers marketing material. So a lot of social media graphics and a whole heap of um, really, really helpful um, advice for business owners um, and she also has a podcast called confessions of a hashtag beauty boss where she interviews beauty therapists um, in the industry and kind of like divulges their story and what it took to become the person that they are so 
She was amazing. Um, definitely, I'll put her handles below. But um, so she mainly spoke about social media, and I think if you are a business owner or if you're a beauty therapist wanting to kind of create your own portfolio, this will be really, really helpful for you. So. She spoke about um, using collaboration community. Hey, Rebecca, and hello, Ali. Um, so she spoke about uh, collaboration and community and um, using social media. So, you know, we all know Instagram and Facebook and all of the platforms are so, so helpful for business. And I mean, it's free, right? Um, but what I really, really loved about her presentation was the way she goes about marketing. And I'm definitely going to implement this into my business. Um, basically, so Angela, and if Angela is watching, definitely feel welcome. I think you are there, Angela. Hello, I'm talking about you. <laughs> I'm just talking about your um, presentation at Salon Growth Con and all your amazing pieces of advice. So if I do relay something a little bit incorrectly, definitely jump in the comments and um, let everyone know. I'm going to pop your handles below as well at the end. Um, but basically, Angela um, spoke about utilizing Facebook and Instagram. And what I really loved was her marketing strategy. So she plans a whole year ahead with her marketing. Oh, <laughs> Angela just commented. Yes, it was very amazing, your content. So got to share it. Um, and Amy Wilson just says, Angela Sanchez is absolutely amazing. I'm a member of her Beauty Biz Co. And it's a great place to get info and help from other professionals. Amazing. Love that endorsement. Couldn't agree more. Uh, so she has, she, she basically plans her marketing 12 months in advance. It's a bit of a mouthful. <laughs> and um, I love that she chooses five um, kind of promotions over the year I, I've never even thought to do this so basically um, kind of choosing them in relation to maybe um, events or you know maybe Mother's Day or let's say um, International Women's Day I think Angela did and using that to kind of frame your content and frame how um, you go about things but it doesn't just end there now it's all about not just putting out one post and just expecting people to book in. It's about that whole uh, ongoing process. So I really, really loved this because I've definitely fell victim, not victim, but just was ignorant, essentially. I would just put one post out there and boost the post, put a bit of money on the Facebook ad and go, yeah, everyone's going to want this. But essentially, um, that's not how it works. You really have to um, integrate all the features and functions of social media. So I loved how she had a promotion for International Mother's Day. So first she did, um, I think it was for Free Jade Roller. I think that's what it was. Um, so basically first she did a post on Instagram, one on Facebook, and then she then featured um, this uh, this promotion in her next story. So I think she had her son do like a little jade roller on her head and that would have been just absolutely adorable. Um, and always putting a call to action at the end. Um, I reckon she followed that up with maybe another video or another post, but it just goes to show that it's not just about putting one post out there and just hoping for the best. You know, you really got to have a call to action and continuously share this theme across all platforms. Um, she also spoke about collaboration and I loved how she teamed up with a, um, a local a local cafe in her area and um, she bring in some of the supplements, um, the nutritional um, powders that she has in her clinic and base in her salon and kind of um, integrating them into a promotion where it was kind of like a VIP day. It was amazing because that kind of cross promotion um, gets comes from all angles, right? So, you know, it's adding value to her clients because they can come and learn about nutrition and the beauty powders. Um, but it also brings um, awareness to the other business, which they love, and they'll be happy to promote your business as a beauty salon. And um, really just promoting the beauty powders that she has in stock as well. So I really, really loved this idea. And honestly, just collaborating with people in your local community is a very rewarding thing and um, can be 
a great marketing tactic. Um, so yeah, loved that one, Angela. Uh, oh goodness, what else did she talk about? She did mention hashtags and how to utilize groups. Um, with the hashtags, I have to admit, I um, it's not something I was utilizing. <laughs> and she just kind of spoke about using searchable hashtags. And um, so, you know, maybe for example, I'm in Adelaide um, and I have a skin clinic. So Adelaide skin, hashtag Adelaide skin clinic or hashtag Adelaide or hashtag Glenelg. All these kinds of hashtags that are really relevant and that's how people can find you as well. Um, there's also the point on utilizing groups, so creating like a little VIP group for your salon um, could be really helpful. I feel like I have not had a breath. <laughs> Let me just have a sip of water. <laughs> Honestly, this is what it was like at Salon Growth Con. It was just like boom, 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 all this advice. Um, and it's been amazing. So it's just all coming out of me. <laughs> um, so yeah, utilizing groups on Facebook. So creating a little community for your clients. Um, not So it's really about having a special place for them. Um, Angela's just said in the comments, um, I'll share the little video of hiding the hashtag in your stories that I posted in my own group today. If anyone has a question, has any questions, please feel free to reach out. Amazing. Actually, I thought that was brilliant. I've actually started doing that, Angela. Um, such a good tip. So it's just about hiding your hashtags to be able to get more reach. Um, yeah, honestly, I can't think of anything else right now, but Angela provided a lot of value for beauty therapist businesses. So um, yeah, definitely check out her live video from today and um, I'm sure it will benefit your business. So who was on the menu next? <laughs> I think it was Chrissy Alger. Yeah, so it was Chrissy. Psych Chrissy is her alter ego. So Psych Chrissy, <laughs> um, she first of all started off as a psychologist and um, has worked in prisons, but then she opened up her own little beauty salon and she has been wildly successful. She's now a business coach and um, she spoke about... Um, Oh, she had a lot of good points, but she spoke about funnels and marketing and um, using low barrier entry um, tactics to get people into your business. Um, she was actually quite hilarious. If you do get your hands on a recording um, of the Salon Growth Con, I know you're just going to be cracking up the whole time. She had some funny little... Um, Oh, clips from <laughs> when she tried to market her business. She's got yoga in her business and just her doing some funny things. Um, but she really just spoke about how you really do have to put a lot of effort into your marketing. You can't just put something out there and hope for the best. That's definitely a, um, a theme I've definitely taken taken from the weekend. It's about really strategic marketing, if anything. Um, so she spoke about um, funnels and low barrier entry offers. Um, so I want to talk about the low barrier entry offers because it's not something I had heard before or had really utilized. I mean, I've started to create something for my business personally, um, but I love what Chrissy has done. So basically what she did at the start of her business because it, you know she needed people to come through the door. She's created this beautiful place, but no one was booking in. Um, so she started to create eBooks. Now, when I heard that, I was like, oh my gosh, like she wrote a whole book. How can you have time to write a bloody book? <laughs> um, but it makes sense now. Um, so she, whether she wrote them or not, I'm not sure. I think she might have wrote some of them or, um, she, but she did speak about um, the possibility of paying someone else to write them for you. Um, but either way, it's definitely really achievable. It's not like they're big, long books. These are like 16 page books of something that your audience would really want to hear. So, um, she has a skin and yoga clinic. So I know she definitely did a yoga book where it was, um, a title was really eye catching. It's like, oh, um, to do with what she, what a client would want to get out of yoga. So this free ebook essentially is something that your clients or prospective clients can download for free um, with, in exchange for their email. So it's kind of like 
getting them into the funnel of your marketing essentially and kind of like nourishing and nurturing that client. Um, so I thought that was brilliant and um, I'm sure a lot of people have come through the doors. She did mention that they had. Um, she also spoke about not giving up on specific strategies and she used the example of SMS marketing. <laughs> she said she tried so, so many times to use SMS marketing with no, um, oh, with no success essentially until she just kept perfecting and perfecting her message and she finally created a script on SMS that was wildly successful. So I really loved to hear that because it's not as if she did it one or two times. I think she said she tried like 50 or more different texts before it became successful. So yeah, that, that was really great to hear that because it, so easily people just go, oh, Facebook marketing doesn't work or Facebook advertising doesn't work. This doesn't, oh, I tried this in my business, it doesn't work, but how many times did you try it? So loved that message, Chrissy. Um, so yeah, SMS marketing is something to look into. Um, and she really did speak about kind of broaden, broadening your knowledge. And she spoke about how, while she was in this process of building her business, that she was listening, you know, reading e um, audio books, listening to audio books and listening to podcasts and really learning the skill of copywriting. I think that's definitely something worth looking into if you have a business. Um, copywriting is a whole nother topic in itself. I'm trying to learn it myself, but basically it's just persuasive um, writing, essentially. So persuading people to follow your instructions through writing. So this can be really helpful for a business and she did harp a little bit on about that. She spoke about utilizing um, Fiverr.com, um, sorry, Upwork.com. They're very similar. And um, whew, what else? Oh, she also spoke about sales um, consultations and sales scripts. Now, you can head over onto, I think, one of Chrissy's pages. I'll try and find it and put it below. I'm sure you'll be able to find it in her video histories. But she kind of elaborated on her consultations and how doing a consultation um, for your clients is not just, you know, a 10 or five or two minute thing where it's like, okay, tell me about your current skincare. You know, it's about really extending this and um, setting them up for the sale. Now I hate kind of talking like that because I'm like, oh, I just want to help my client. But it kind of, if you are wanting to be successful in this realm of become, you know, being a beauty therapist um, that owns a business, you really, and especially with um, skin, you really do need to sell retail. That's how you're going to grow your business, right? Um, so it's about, she kind of spoke about doing a consultation and qualifying the client. Now she has an amazing video on this, so I really don't want to harp on too much about it. Um, so definitely go check it out. Um, when I put her handles below, you'll be able to see it there. Um, but yeah, I thought it was brilliant and I'm looking forward to receiving her little um, script on how she does her consultations in the email. I think she offered it as a free gift, but you could definitely take um, snippets from her video. But it's really just about using psychological um, techniques to set the client up for feeling amazing and feeling like they actually want your help because all so often us beauty therapists, we are so excited about the knowledge that we know and we just want to give 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 to our client but sometimes you know we might just be sitting there going rah, 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 like oh my god love vitamin a for this reason this reason this reason and we're not actually relating to the client we're not getting them involved and we're not kind of qualifying them for the results essentially so definitely check her out she had a lot of good things to offer um i thought it was brilliant Wow, there's so many speakers and this is going to be such a long video, so I'm going to try and recap as well as I can. Um, I didn't get to see all the speakers, I have to admit, because, yeah, there was just so many and there was some of them kind of interlapping, um, you know, there was roundtable events and then there was a live speaker, so I didn't get to see them all because I kind of just pick and chose. Um, but who comes to mind? Ooh. Billy Rickman was amazing, of course. He's the guy who ran the event and he spoke about utilizing bots, um, so messenger bots. That's something to really, really look into. 
Um, it's basically Facebook marketing for um, your messenger and um, replying to your clients quicker um, and in a more oh it's just it's just amazing it's basically allowing a robot to reply to your clients for you so you're getting bookings while you sleep essentially I'm sure it's a lot more complicated than that and it's definitely bot software um, but that's what Billy was talking about and I believe he does have a bot for sale <laughs> or at least a bot training so yeah check that out if you're interested but it's definitely the way of the future and um, we've really just as business owners in the beauty industry we've really got to get up to times you know if we're still putting out flyers and we're still advertising in local newspapers um, hey that might be working for you but if it's not it's it's definitely time to take a look at your marketing um, so that's definitely something I picked up on um, Oh goodness, who else was there? So we had, you know what guys, give me one moment. I'm actually just gonna go get the pamphlet with all the speakers. Give me one moment. Here we go. <laughs> Probably should have grabbed this before, but I thought I'd be able to remember it all off the top of my head but that's okay oh, of course we had the beautiful tabitha coffee i don't know if you guys have heard of her but she actually started her journey as a hairdresser in the gold coast it was really awesome to hear her speech she basically just spoke about some of the backlash that she received um from you know starting her own tv show and um just what some of the comments were and she spoke about just owning your, just owning who you are and just being a really amazing person, an amazing woman. She has a really good analogy for the word B-I-T-Z-H, something that she got called a lot. Actually, you should go see her TED talk on being a bitch. Um, it, she used to get called it over and over again, but she has a beautiful analogy for it and um, I think we all kind of need to hear it. Um, so we also had Bridget Benj, we had Amanda Gore and Sandy Chong. I only saw little bits and pieces of those amazing women, but Bridget Benj is, has been in the business mentoring realm for at least 20 years. Someone to check out, I'll pop her below. Sandy Chong, she's from the hair industry, she had a lot to share. Um, oh, we also had Selena. Oh, from Hair Raid. So I'm definitely going to share with you guys what Hair Raid is because they are looking for beauty therapists to do some um, volunteering over in Manila for families of um, people who are literally living in the slums. So teaching them skills so they can put their children through school and so they don't have to live on the streets. Like it was so sad to hear some of the stories. Um, yeah, people literally like digging holes in the ground and then putting tin over them and that's their house. It's crazy. So if you, I will pop hair aid below, but if you can volunteer your time, I'm sure it will go a really long way. We had Amanda Hodgson and she was just amazing. She really spoke about how fitness and having an exercise regime is just so, so beneficial to your success. Um, she actually is running a 30 day challenge that I said I would I would com continue to do with them. I think it's three days in and I haven't done it terrible, but I'm still away and a little bit out of routine moving house this weekend. So that's just an excuse. <laughs> um, but if you do want to get along on her um, fitness challenge, she is holding one and I'll link her below. Um, but I really love how she spoke about habits and how exercise and all these components, they really do contribute to your success as a, as a person, as a business owner, as whatever you would like to be. We also had Caitlin Menzel. She was pretty amazing. She spoke a lot about knowing your numbers. Like, come on. <laughs> that was kind of my um, take on <laughs> the way she speaks. She was just like, guys, you really got to know. You got to know your numbers. Um, and it was about effective salon management and team management. And um, she has some really 
good things to be talking about. Um, good, <laughs> that did not make sense. Some really good points um, that she spoke about running a team. And, you know, I loved, I loved this one actually. So if you are a business owner in the industry, whether you're in hair or beauty, you should definitely do this. Um, so she doesn't wait for her therapist to come to her and ask for a raise. She, you know, she has targets and she has, um, all these protocols around reaching your targets and performing. So when she actually tracks and sees that a therapist is doing amazing, she comes to them and she goes, you know what, I'm going to give you a raise. And how amazing would that feel if you're a therapist? I thought that was really cool because that's what's going to keep your team working for you. That's how you're going to create good relationships in your workplace. Um, she also spoke about morning huddles and the importance of, you know, getting together with your team in the morning or at least once a week, taking them out to lunch, all these little extra things that a lot of businesses really just aren't doing. So, yeah, love, love what Caitlin Menzel had to share. Um, we also have Rebecca Miller. Now, I'm so, so sad I didn't actually get to hear all of her um of her talk, um, I came in at the end, I have to admit, I had to have a little bit of a sleep in after the night before, I was just so tired. Um, but Rebecca spoke a lot about marketing and having a team. Um, if you're a skin therapist um, or beauty therapist and you love skin, she has a lot of good information on skin, so I'm gonna share her below. Um, she's absolutely amazing, a beautiful human being. Uh, we also had the lovely Elle and Toby Wilson. Oh my goodness, I was at the ed edge of my seat listening to them. I was just mesmerized by what they had to say. You know, it was such a beautiful, beautiful husband and wife duo. Um, they have a lot of good things to share just about the way you kind of, oh, just about meaning and just about operating as a business owner. You know, she really spoke about burnout and being an empathetic person, being a spiritual entrepreneur. Um, she spoke about kind of taking charge of your mind and um, running your business in a much more deep and meaningful way. So she spoke on the importance of oh, just mastering your mind and not letting yourself burn out and not and kind of utilizing techniques of marketing that don't require money. So about, it's kind of about really capitalizing on um, word of mouth essentially. Um, so she has a lot of different handles that you can go follow. She is wildly successful um, with her international um, True Brow. Um, company, but um, yeah, I'm definitely going to share her below. Um, her and Toby are amazing, and um, yeah, I was just like, oh, I feel like you're speaking to my soul <laughs> because you know, I really don't care to like, I love running a business and I'm new at it, but I really don't care to be slaving away and you know, ruining my health and running myself down. I want to run a business where I'm you know, I get that work-life balance. I get to spend time with my friends and my family. Um, I don't want to have my business running me. I want to run my business and allow it to run my, um, sorry, allow it to give me an amazing life. So that's what they kind of spoke about. And I really relate to that. Um, so it was just kind of about being aware of the numbers, being aware of what's going on in your business and being aware of what's working and tracking that. So Amazing, amazing people. Um, we've also got Emma Ebling. And so I have to admit, I didn't even see Emma at all the whole time. I must have went out. Yes, I did. I went out for her session. Um, I went and listened to the roundtable event for Asti Marie, who's a sexual empowerment coach. She is beautiful and amazing. Um, and I also didn't get to see Jess Holmes. I think I was also doing a different round table. Who knows? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm definitely going to share them below. Um, so, Asti Marie. So, she's actually not from the beauty industry, but she does have a lot of good things to share. So, she's a sexual empowerment coach, and she spoke about um, femininity and taking care of yourself and 
some kind of the bitchiness in the industry as well. So talking about empowering women and talking about women. Hello, Tali. It's so nice to have you here. Um, so Asti Marie, amazing, amazing woman. And one of the key points that I really took from her talk was that you know, whenever we talk down about another woman um, and we're really bitching behind their backs or we're saying not so nice things, what we are essentially doing is hurting ourselves and not just hurting ourselves, but hurting women altogether. You know, the reason why you're pointing out someone and being rude or putting them down is because you're seeing something in yourself that you don't like and you're seeing in that person or maybe you aspire to be like that person in some way and just kind of reframing it like that and basically she just said look it's just it's not good enough and um, we need to we need to bring each other up it's it's not good at all (laughs) so I love that about her but she really talked about the law of attraction and coming into your feminine and really breathing and really just feeling into yourself and operating from that mindset you know we're so often going to this whole masculine mindset where we're go 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 you know do this do that logic 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 you know I gotta just power through and get it all done and it's very very depleting on us as women and on our souls and we just can't keep up with that energy for a long term so She spoke about, you know, when you embrace the way you, um, what you want, as in you embrace the feelings that you're chasing in the thing that you want, and you know, you really feel those emotions of what it's going to be like when you are living in abundance, perhaps, or you have the amount of clients that you want. So it's all about looking at the end result and not going, I don't have that and feeling the lack. It's about actually feeling those emotions of what you want in the future. So it's a little bit esoteric and it's a little bit of a law of attraction. Um, but I really think she had a lot of good points. Um, and she is a sexual empowerment coach and she really did talk about, um, femininity and, um, just the powerful manifestation, um, abilities of, um, kind of like tuning into our inner feminine so she talks about this in her youtube channel she's got a whole heap of free content so definitely check her out like i said she'll be down below (laughs) and who else did we have um there's definitely a few people that i'm not too sure of i will share them below um we had eric bailey i must have missed him who knows what i was doing at that moment (laughs) we had larissa mackleman now she is amazing she has a podcast um and she basically spoke about being a hairdresser but running a business and kind of balancing everything at the same time and using techniques so i'm going to share her below um who else did we have we had christian tognini um, he is in the hair industry. He was pretty awesome. Jessica Brigginshaw, how to run multiple beauty businesses in an ever-changing industry. She was great as well. Um, honestly, they were all so amazing. I think that's all I'm going to share for tonight. <laughs> and um, I hope that you've learned something. And I really, really hope that you do check out these other um, amazing coaches, business owners, and honestly, just all time, all round, what's the word for it? People to look up to, um, they really have done what you're wanting to achieve. Um, and I've definitely learned so much and this has been such a really quick recap, um, but all worth the while. So I've enjoyed being here with you guys and I really do hope you go to Salon Growth Con 2020. <laughs> I'll be going, it's in Sydney, so... This year was, you know, the first of of the um, of these events, um, and it's definitely going to be done next year. So, yeah, don't miss out. Absolutely not. Um, and I just thought, you know what? While I'm here, if you are watching still, congratulations. This has been a long one. <laughs> you got it to the end. Um, but I'm going to be sharing a lot more content for you guys. I am going to be doing these interviews that I promised a few months ago. It just got so crazy in my life. Um, but they're going to be beauty therapist interviews. 
and I'm really wanting to interview beauty therapists or professionals in our industry and really speak about the core values of being a beauty therapist, what's worked for them and just the meaning behind being a beauty therapist and just sharing with you guys um, how you can kind of implement those skills and go down the career path that you want. So I hope you're looking forward to it. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos in terms of math, um, beauty therapist skills, communication as a beauty therapist, um, and just anything. Honestly, this, there's just so much to cover and I'm feeling really inspired to share it with you guys. And um, yeah, I think we're going to leave it at that. This is getting long. I've enjoyed spending time with you all and I look forward to connecting with you soon. Have a wonderful night and yeah, bye. <laughs>